Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Decorate with Dana. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I take this oak hutch and chalk paint it linen white. So stay tuned and I'll show you the process. Okay, so this is basically what I'm starting with. This is a hutch and it is oak color. I'm going to go ahead and paint it linen white. Um, there's the doors, I took all the glass out. Um, this is the base. And this is the top. Um, I think I'm gonna leave the inside oak. So you see a little bit of the oak contrast. I'm gonna see if I like the way that looks, otherwise I might be painting the inside white as well. So this is what we're starting with. I've already prepped everything, took the doors off. All I had to do was tape off the little hinges that hold the door closed. Um, these are the doors to the front and the doors to the hutch. All right, let's get started. So apparently with chalk paint, the only prep that needs to be done is you need to make sure the surfaces are all clean. So here I am just using a um, damp, soapy, rag and wiping down all of the surfaces and um, just making sure there's no dust or anything left on them and then i'll take a dry towel and make sure that they're completely everything is completely dry before i start So here I'm just stirring the paint really well, getting ready to start applying my first coat. I picked up a special brush meant for chalk paint. Um, apparently that's what you need. This is my first time ever chalk painting, so this is all a new experience to me. Uh, but here I am applying the first coat. So after the first coat dries in about 30 minutes, you can go ahead and start applying the second coat. Um, it was so basically by the time I was finishing doing all the pieces, 30 minutes had definitely passed since I had done the first piece, so I could immediately start in on the second coat. I was impressed on how fast chalk paint dries, so you can jump right into the second coat.
guys, so here is the cabinet all done. I am so happy with the way that this turned out. I purposely only used two coats of the chalk paint because I wanted a little bit of the wood grain look to come through. So as you can see there, especially on the side, um, you could kind of see the wood coming through, which I wanted that kind of antique farmhouse look. So um, it kind of matches this bookshelf that I have over here. Um, which kind of has a very similar finish, a little bit of a different color, but it has that kind, kind of similar finish where the wood grain kind of peeks through the paint. So I wanted that, and so I was happy with the way that this turned out. Um, it has three shelves on the inside. So the way I have it decorated now is not necessarily how it's going to stay. I just kind of put stuff in there just to um, kind of just to see how it was going to look. But I probably will be playing with this and moving it around a lot. But I store a lot of my Ray Dunn pieces in here. And up here I have this little candle stand with these stacking jack-o'-lanterns. And up here I have that little, um, those stacking white bowls with that black pumpkin with the gold stars on it and then that tricks sign and this little white lantern with that little bird and that white platter and then down here I just have my white cake stand with this little green sagey green pumpkin on it and down here another Ray Dunn piece and then my Halloween mug and this little jack-o'-lantern guy. And then down here, this is just a drawer. Right now I just have some extra tablecloths and a table runner in there. Um, again, I haven't really done anything else with this, so I'm not sure what, how it's gonna stay or what's gonna happen. And then under here is just more shelving. I have nothing under there yet, but it makes for nice storage. So, and then the cabinet does have um, a light. So, so that lights up so you can display and it looks really pretty at night. So overall, I'm so happy with how this turned out. Um, this piece was literally just sitting in my basement uh, doing just housing crafts and not, nothing else. And I just didn't like the oak color of it anymore. So um, I figure rather than just have this piece of furniture uh, wasting away down in the basement. I should use it and do something with it. So this is how it turned out. I hope you guys like it and I uh, may be chalk painting more pieces in the future. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Thanks.